Welcome, everybody, to All About Articulation, where we do a deeper dive into the articulation of some of your favorite action figures while glossing over things like sculpt, paint apps, character history, accessories, because I suck at that. And <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that. Because I suck at that. There you go. That's better. And there's, listen, there are so many great reviewers on YouTube who do great reviews already, so I don't want to waste your time. And time is a terrible thing to waste, okay? Okay. Today, we are reviewing the Mezco... Mesco Toys King Coden action figure that was released just uh, about a month or two ago. Um, so, if you want to jump straight into the articulation, the, the timestamp is in the description below. But first, I'm going to give you a little bit of a spiel about how I feel about this figure. It's a nice figure. It's a good figure. It's very similar to the previous two offerings of Conan from Mesco. This is actually their third release. Um, their second release is right over here. This is, I believe, Conan the Conqueror. I think the first one was Conan the Barbarian, if I'm not mistaken. And then this one is Conan the Conqueror. And now this is King Conan. Um, the real main difference between the first and the second one was just uh, some ad more added accessories and maybe a little touch-up of paint app. Um, the big difference now of King Conan is... Very similar. I mean, obviously, different accessories and, and more and different, you know, slightly different paint, but it's negligible. Um, the only difference, real difference, is that you have double jointed elbows. In the first two Conans, you had single jointed elbows, as you can see. See, that's as far up as it went. And now this Conan, the King Conan, he can do that. Yeah. Look at that, huh? Now that's what I call elbow articulation. Okay. So, and if I'm being honest, the single, but the single jointed elbow, you know, although better, uh, I'm sorry, the single jointed elbows, they weren't terrible the last two times. So these double jointed elbows, they're better, but they don't give you the same feeling of a, of a vast improvement that it otherwise would have. But, you know, I'm okay with that. I, 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 I prefer, I prefer the double jointed elbow, so I'm not going to complain. I've cooled a lot on Mezco this past year. And I think moving forward, uh, I'm just gonna, gonna be very, very selective in what Mezco's I buy. Mezco makes great stuff, they do, right? But it comes down to how you enjoy your action figures. I like to pick them up. I like to play with them, fidget with them, pose them endlessly. You know, maybe even use them as a, as a model for my art. Like Mafex, Jada Toys, Marvel Legends, they're great for that. Mezco figures, you, you gotta treat these way way more delicately they have to be because of the relative relative fragility of these figures you don't you don't play with a mezco figure the same way you would play with even a, Ma a mafex or a marvel legend for sure no figure has broken on me more than mezco's and that's a fact they almost have to be treated as like plastic porcelain because they're so delicate but they make great great desk pieces or display pieces though because the, the amount of our of, of, of detail and and the detail and accessories and the paint is probably second to none but then again i am an articulation guy you know i love articulation and i put a premium on articulation and if i can't pick up and play with them as you know often as, as i want um as, as much as i want without the fear of breaking them then they sort of you know don't really fill that need in that in that in that in that hole for me but I know everybody's different. Everybody's different. Some people, they like... I mean, and Mezco initially was just made to be a 112 scale Hot Toys. It was like Hot Toys, but smaller. That was the, the, the main sort of, uh, of uh, MO of these figures. So, you know, not knocking it. Just letting you know. Uh, but, but this figure, though, this King Conan, it's a figure that the more I do play with, the better it becomes. One of the things I do enjoy a lot about Mezco are the accessories. And Mezco is known for having probably the best 112th scale accessories for any given toy line. What makes them so good isn't just the, the sheer amount of accessories you get, but also how customizable and how versatile they are. Like he came with a big chest piece, chest armor, like a vest. And uh, it was great. It was amazing. But I took it off immediately because I wanted to access his, his ab articulation. You know, um, yeah, the, the chest it can be taken off, and now he's freed up to do more articulation, which is always a good thing, because here we are called 
all about articulation. In fact, when I do start into the articulation uh, portion, I'm going to take off his his belt here. Take that off. So now he's unhindered and unencumbered by the belt, by the belt piece, and we're going to do uh, some articulation. Yeah? All right, let's jump into it. This is going to be a quick review. So he comes with a bunch of heads. Uh, I'm going to pause it right here and grab his other bag of or accessories. So here's all his accessories that he came with. This is my favorite head, but I'm going to switch and put on this, this head with the, the shorter hair to help you guys see better his articulation. He looks like He-Man now, doesn't he? Okay, and uh, this was the, the chest armor that he came with. But this, of course, hindered all the, the ab articulation, so I took it off. Okay, now, let's get to the articulation. He's got uh, two points of articulation in the neck, but in terms of the upper, articula upper, upper neck articulation, he can only look that far up. Even with the, smaller, uh, the shorter hair, he can only hit that far. So again, this is neutral. This is up. And he's got a lower neck articulation that... I mean, it's, it barely moves. It barely moves. See that? Let me see. I right, blocked the light. Okay, so even with upper and lower neck articulation, he can just only look that far up. And he can look that far down. No butterfly joints, but uh, it's okay. We're not going to condemn him too much for that. Because he can hit a good T-pose beyond 90 degrees, right? He's got bicep swivel that goes all the way around. We know how that works. He's got double jointed elbows and that we can, he can bend to, what would you say that is? Is that 45, maybe even more than 45, maybe by 30 degrees? So that's a great bend at the elbow. Um, just one thing. That separates, again, to reiterate the difference between this new Conan, King Conan, and the uh, the older two Conans, is that the older Conans had single-jointed elbow, but it also had this elbow swivel that you can go all the way around. I'm trying not to block the light for you. Okay. But this new Conan, because it's double-jointed, it doesn't have that capability of... Of, 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 a, of an elbow swivel. So if you wanted to s rotate the arm, you have to do it at the bicep. You can no longer do it at the, at the elbow because the elbow now has a new double jointed articulation scheme, okay? He's got the multi-directional wrist joint that can go uh, in all directions. Flexion, extension, adduction, abduction. We know how that works. Two points of articulation at the, at the torso. Upper, lower, so here's the upper articulation. Uh, very, very slight, but there is, if you, if you do apply some pressure, you can get it to articulate. And uh, there, you can hear that, okay, you see that? Let me move this, I'll have to do it this way. Okay, now let's isolate for just the lower, or, or lower ab, joint he can bend much more and extend his back much more okay and together both upper and lower here's his crunch and here's his back extension and i think that's enough you know again he's conan he's not spider-man he's not uh daredevil he don't need crazy gymnastic level articulation you just want to put him in barbarian battle poses on the battlefield, and can he do that? And I think he definitely can. Can he hit poses that you want Conan to hit? And even though his ab articulation is not the greatest, it's not the worst either, it's something that I could definitely live with for a Conan, barbarian, you know, warrior type of character who uses medieval swords and, and, and shields and whatnot, okay? Uh, and of course, the ball joint at the bottom of the waist can well, it's supposed to rotate all the way around, but because of a lot of the, the, uh, the sculpt, 
it's preventing it from going that way. So he can only... And uh, this skirt, I, I guess it's removable, but I did not see any peg. So I'm afraid to take it off in the fear that I won't be able to get it back on. So just FYI, um, this skirt might not be as... You can take it off if you really wanted to, but I'm not going to do it because I'm afraid. Because these Mezco figures, like I said, they're like, it's plastic porcelain. You got to be very careful how you handle these guys. I've had so many break on me. I'm, 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 I have trauma. I'm PTSD from Mezco broken figures. So yeah, uh, can his waist swivel turn all the way around and at the bottom, at the bottom ball joint? The answer for me is no. I cannot do it. I can't get it. I, can, I feel resistance, and I'm not going to go past that point. Okay. Um, he has two ball joints at the hips, and he can hit a split. You know, because that's Conan needs to hit splits. No, he can hit. He can go down that far. Okay. He has a, a thigh swivel that can go all the way around. All right. He's got a double jointed knee that can hit that far. That's pretty far. That's pretty far up. That's a really good bend. I like that. Uh, does he have a boot swivel? And the answer is no. No boot swivel. All right. That's a one solid piece. And, uh, of course, you know, Mezco ankles are notoriously terrible. There's just a little bit of movement to go to point his toes like that. Uh, not much in terms of toe pointed upwards towards his head. And not much pivot. So you can't, can't really move this way or that way for his, for his foot. Can't really move upwards, but can only move. A little bit down. Yeah, that's Mezco for you. That's very typical Mezco. The worst anchor articulation by any toy line that I can think of. So, yeah, that's, uh, you know, that's King Conan. Um, it's Mezco. It's typical of Mezco. It's a, it's a great figure, but it's not a, a figure that you um, will able to articulate and play with and, 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 and pose and just, you know, handle to your heart's content without the fear of breaking. This is kind of like uh, you're put in, in on your desk, you walk away, and you admire him. All right, that's my review for King Conan for Bimesco. Thanks, everybody.